The Arrival of the Cyverse Ritual Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. In today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and impressions regarding the latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains, episode 48. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this was another really great episode in my opinion. It was one of those episodes that Reigns has been notorious for since its inception, of where you're left on the edge of your seat, and you're left with more questions than you are answers. But on top of that, we also got introduced to Soul Burner, Bowmen, and of course, we also got to see a brilliantly animated ritual summon but uh, before I ramble on about all that stuff too much longer really great episode so before I keep rambling on let's talk about the actual episode so the episode begins with a recap of last week's episode where we ended off with an attack from flow high drive and if playmaker takes this attack it's over he's done he's defeated but we kick off the actual episode with playmaker using link karibos effect to tribute it to make battle damage zero and at this point everyone is wondering about this new enemy and his cybers and link spells playmakers wondering who are you but as all this is going on we transition to another part of the new link frames where we see soul burner and he's talking to his ignis flame and he actually says to him it looks like we found your friend and flame goes off on soul burner he's deeply offended by this he said don't you try to offend me by assuming that that airhead is my friend. He's pissed at this point. Flame, it's obvious he does not like Ignis, does, or I at this point, doesn't think much of him. But anyway, after we have this brief interaction between Soul Burner and Flame, we go back to Playmaker as he makes his move. He plays the spell card one time pass code, and this spell allows him to summon a security token, which allows him to link summon Link to Cyber Switch. L Phase's effect then revives Def Con Bird from his graveyard, and Cyber Cyverse Witch uses her effect, which allows Playmaker to destroy one card on the field, one spell card, and allows him to draw two cards. And of course, he destroys one time passcode and draws two cards. And of course, he also uses uh, Cyverse Witch's other effect to bring back Cyverse Wizard from the graveyard. And we actually see this happen right now the ultimate ritual summon, Cyverse Ritual, Cynet Ritual. And before I talk about the duel too much longer, I do want to take a brief second to talk about this. This ritual summon was so brilliantly animated, the sequence of how it was done and the summoning chant that Playmaker did for it. This was all really well done. It's probably and arguably the best ritual summon we've seen so far from Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm even going so far as to say it topped the ones we saw in Arc 5. And Arc 5's ritual summons were actually very, very impressive. So the fact that this topped that, that should be saying something. But anyway, so Cynet Ritual, Playmaker uses it to bring out Cyverse Magician and he sets a card and attacks with Cyverse Magician. And of course, this attack allows Cyverse Magician to gain 1,000 attack points. Playmaker's opponent, though, uses his Judgment Arrow and a trap card called Property Spray to gain life and change Playmaker's monsters to wind attribute. So, Property Spray. Because of this trap, Playmaker didn't succeed in wiping out his life points like he would have the first time around, but he does managed to destroy the monster, but sadly for him, this effect from the trap card will allow his opponent to keep gaining life points as long as he tributes a monster. So with Playmaker's monsters now wind attributes once again, Playmaker's attack does go through, it doesn't manage to stop it, and he knocks his opponent down to 900 life points. But of course, as the duel goes on, we learn that this unknown enemy who he really is, is he returns to his true form, Bowman, who now is all confused. He's like, why are you dueling me? And then Playmaker says, you stole our friend's consciousness. And Bowman is like, who would do such a horrible thing? And they're going on. Bowman has no idea what had happened when he was this light shaded character. No idea at all. But he does hear his brother Haru calling to him through his dual disc. And as their conversation goes on, Playmaker and I 
it's revealed to them that they are just trying to regain their lost memories. And I have a feeling their whole story is going to fall into the Cybers being destroyed thing. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point. They have Cybers cards. They're talking about lost memories. I think it. I think it's fairly obvious if you ask me. But anyway, after this, Bowman continues the duel after a quick analysis and turns the duel around with his property spray trap and high drive monsters who, thanks to their effects, re allows Bowman to regain life points and knock Playmaker down is he special summons covered high drive which will repel and prevent any damage so Playmaker at this point is in a pinch he has to turn this duel around and he does it with I using his skill storm access and this turns the duel around when Playmaker brings out a new code talker that he got from the data storm shooting star talker so or shooting code talker rather so um I gotta say, I think it's a great thing that uh, Revolver's been defeated at this point because he would probably be like, oh my god, another Code Talker? Because you gotta be, I gotta be honest with you guys, shooting Code Talker is badass. I mean, this is probably my favorite Code Talker so far. But uh, before I ramble on about that too much longer, so Code Talker, the new Code Talker, yeah? Shooting Code Talker is the bow and arrow Code Talker that we see in the opening, and thanks to its effect, it allows Playmaker to attack three times and ultimately win the duel. But when I tries to eat Bowman's data, he is stopped by Heru's anti-Ignis program, and they try to make their getaway as their associates Bit and Boot appear and plan to duel Playmaker, but... All of a sudden, out of nowhere, the new guy arrives, Soul Burner. And Soul Burner and Flame basically turn to Playmaker and say, you go to them and deal with them. We'll handle these guys. And that's where the episode leaves off. So like I said, overall, really great episode, really suspenseful. Had you on the edge of your seat and yet had you asking yet more questions and you got answers in this episode. Brains is infamous for that. And although I love him for it, I hate him for it. It's one of those love-hate things. But arguably my favorite part of the episode, like I stated earlier, has got to be the Ritual Summon. Like I said, this was so well done. It puts Arc Fives, which I thought was going to be the pinnacle of Ritual Summoning in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, to shame. But uh, anyway, with all that being said, a fantastic episode of Reigns. I give this episode a 9 out of 10, a really great episode. And this is really an episode that you really need to watch if you haven't already but anyway, with all that being said, in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys thought of this week's episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just ant eh, there? What were your thoughts on the new Ritual Summon? What were your thoughts on new Shooting Code Talker? What are your thoughts on Soul Burner? What are your thoughts on the Bowman and his brother? Just what are your thoughts about all this in the comment section down below? Because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone. As always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.